Hey everybody, 8 Josh here, and welcome back to Meridian Springs, and I uh, got a shorter time lapse today. I started doing uh, the other side of the, the river here. I liked the kind of shallow area we did uh, at the, kinda, I guess, like the bottom of the uh, African elephant habitat, so I actually wanted to do that throughout at least this part of the river and on the other side of the, the river bank. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here, just kind of kind of doing the cleaning up the the riverbed and uh, like I said just adding adding like the you got like the shallow part and then you got the deeper uh, section in the middle there but um, but yeah so uh, this habit or this uh, this episode we're uh, adding a meerkat habitat and still kind of sticking with you know animals that uh, either didn't get to add in Aurora Zoo or uh, animals that have come out uh, in the last couple uh, DLC that we didn't get to add uh, either just because uh, well mostly is because the the was it the Africa DLC came out right at the end of Aurora Zoo and then we also have uh, the North America uh, pack that came out as well since we've started this zoo so there's a lot of animals that, uh, like like I said, after uh, Aurora Zoo, we didn't get to add. So the meerkats being one of them. Also, like the last episode was the African elephants. We didn't uh, add them at all in Aurora Zoo. So yeah, kind of just trying to stick with some of those animals. But uh, we're ri actually right on the other side of the African elephant habitat. I, I, I kind of was thinking, you know, I kind of want to fill out, continue filling out this area because I really like, uh, like this little farm area with like the tiered uh, terrain areas and stuff. So uh, <clears throat> this is, I figured meerkats are really small. They don't require a very big habitat at all. So I was like, you know, just putting like a small habitat right on the other side, I think we'll be okay. You know, it doesn't need to have like a big, a big uh, fancy like viewing area or anything like that because uh, yeah, they are really small. So you don't want like the guests to uh, be very far away. You want them to be able to get up like nice and close to see the, see the meerkats, but uh, just kind of, you know, sticking with the, the rock uh, stuff around the the habitat barrier. I do end up switching the entire barrier to uh, a null barrier because you know I talked about this in the last episode. I just like uh, kind of making them making the habitats look more natural, especially in this zoo. Um, you know, like I did with the African elephants, kind of just making it almost feel like. You know that they're, they're like they're not really in a habitat it's just kind of like a a big open area so whether i pulled that off with the meerkats i don't know um i just ended up doing like i ended up doing uh well i guess the front of this here i ended up doing uh a glass because i i lowered it as low as it can go and then i used these uh like thinner rock pieces to create like a, a barrier and then I just switch switch the actual barrier to glass so you've got this nice little kind of see-through thing going on here and overall I think it it looks uh, pretty good I'm pretty pretty happy with it but yeah like I said this is a shorter uh, time lapse than normal so uh, let's go ahead and we'll jump into the real-time gameplay and check out the new meerkat habitat alrighty and here we are this is the uh, finished meerkat habitat like I said it's a small habitat and you know meerkats are small uh, so and uh, honestly for meerkats it's probably still very big for them especially if you just look how how teeny tiny they are I love when I love the log enrichment love watching them go through it and they sometimes poke their head out through the little opening there but yeah so this is it fairly simple um gave them like a nice little 
uh, shack here for sleeping because they uh, do require a hard shelter, which is still probably pretty big for them. Although I think this is a baby. I think that's a juvenile here cat, but still they're pretty small and the habitat itself is pretty small, but I think it looks good. I think it fits in with, you know, the theme of the zoo and uh, this little area specifically, you know, especially with like the uh, the rocks and everything. So, um, yeah, I just think it, I think it looks pretty good. Like I said, it, it's simple. Um, there's, you know, there's not like a whole lot to talk about because you can just see what it is here. It's, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's a small habitat, but you know, we've got all the, all the necessary things. We've got the education board there. Uh, I put the donation bin over here because we've got one right here for the elephants and I I would imagine even if the guests wanted to like donate after reading about or looking at the meerkats they would still probably use that one but I put another one over here just in case um, you know just whatever for whatever reason also uh, made these little new light posts on stream. I just like that they're, I wanted something that looked a little bit more, uh, I guess kind of natural. So I just took these branch pieces and just kind of combined them to, to make this like, kind of just like, like a tree branch was cut off a tree and they turned it into a light pole, I guess. I don't know. I think that, I think that works, but, um, but yeah, so. I, I don't think this was in the last episode, but I did bring over the tiers uh, over here. We might, I don't know if I'll do a ha habitat here at all. Maybe we could do something down here. Maybe another uh, another animal that likes some water because they could kind of get down here. But what I'm thinking we'll probably do is have uh, a path come down around this way. You can see I did a little little bit of terraforming here as well so the path come down here around the bend and then back up somewhere over here and I uh, colored the terrain using a couple different uh, terrain types just because it makes it easier to uh, see the different levels when it's all the same terrain type it's very hard unless you get down get down like here to uh, see the the different different levels so I, I really just I painted it so it was visually easier to see and then here's the river you can see as I was talking about in the time lapse we've got the the shallow areas on each side and then it's like deeper in the middle kind of like real rivers I suppose um so I don't know if we'll end up doing anything on this side uh kind of the the idea behind this zoo is that everything would sort of be inside the river. So the river would kind of be like, uh, like the zoo barrier, I guess. So we'll see, may end up just like filling up all of this with trees and just kind of make it look like it's, you know, this zoo kind of right in the middle of this like little jungly oasis that's hidden in this little desert inside the mountains. I think it'll be, pretty cool when it's all said and done and you kind of just see like all this stuff kind of sticking out and you've got the mountains all around it I think it's gonna be really really cool super super happy about it but yeah I really like uh this this little farm area I think we'll continue that the same design with like the crops going around here and then we'll you know do what we need to do over there we haven't planned that part out yet and then yeah same with like all of this all that still needs to get filled out so um yeah not too terribly much to show too terribly much uh not a lot to show uh really in this episode just because you know the meerkats they're they're pretty simple when it comes to their habitats but let me know in the comments what you know animals you would like to see uh you know especially if it's something from the africa dlc or uh, the North American animal pack because like I like I was talking about we haven't really got to use any of those animals up to this point um, so yeah I think that'll be it 
So as always, be sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I am 8 Josh, and thanks for watching. See ya.